Hello and welcome to the podcast. Pastor Frank here, and I've had the wonderful privilege of, of ministering in the Church of God for like 45 years, really. Right, right off the bat, the Lord told me I would be a leader in the church, and I thought of it in religious terms. <laughs> but leading is not just about an official title. We lead people to the Lord and eventually titles come to us if we're meant to have them in our service for God. But that's not what is important. What is important is do we lead them in, in the right direction. And what I want to talk to you today about the blood of Jesus Christ, we're continuing our 10-week series, is this understanding that the power that is in the blood to establish a brand new covenant with God. We have the old covenant and the new covenant. And many people are stuck in the old covenant, and I was, so I know what I'm talking about. I still try to pay for my sins. <laughs> Peggy says, you don't have to do penance. Just by faith, you're forgiven. I go, I know, but I wish I wouldn't have said that and hurt that person or whatever. And I, I just love people. I don't like to hurt them. But what I want to convey to you, to you today is the power or the legality that was established when his blood was shed as the sacrifice, as the lamb. We've talked about our forgiveness of sins, our justification, our sanctification. But now you need to have some, some meat. You need to understand the power of the blood that created this new covenant. So let's read our scriptures so that we can continue on. But it says in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 25, After the same manner also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And I want to read the companion scripture from Matthew 26. And I want to read, that's Matthew 26 and verse number 28. So let's read that. It says, For this is my blood at the Last Supper of the New Testament or the New Covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. This is right out of Jesus' mouth. These words are in red. He knew that his blood was for the forgiveness of sins. And I want to take it goes all the way back to the beginning of his ministry when John the Baptist says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. See, he knew the power that his blood would have. The old covenant did not provide this. This is the new covenant in my blood. They had bulls and goats and sacrifice. And really, in the book of Hebrews, is all a discussion about telling those Hebrews, don't go back to those sacrifices. Go forward by faith in the one true sacrifice of the blood of Jesus for the remission of your sins. Now, I want to talk to you about some legal terms here that we use in the church, and people have Christianized them, that they don't re realize the legality and the New Testament, the New Covenant, that, that backs up these legal terms. And one of them is the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood, they say. Plead the blood. Well, what does plead the blood mean? I, don't, I never really got that until I understand, understood the legality of it. When you are in a courtroom, and they plead your case. That's what the term means. They plead the blood of the new covenant. You're justified. You're sanctified. You're forgiven. You, you plead the blood. And when the enemy comes against you, it says they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of the... You plead the blood. Say the blood of Jesus be against you. When you're pleading the blood, you are pleading every new covenant promise that's available through his... This is the new covenant in my blood. It doesn't get any clearer than that. Another one is this idea about, can I get a witness <laughs> for Jesus? <laughs> Does anybody have a testimony? How, how many of you know that in a courtroom, they have testimonies, they have witnesses. They, you know, when you witness to the new covenant in the blood, you're saying, this happened in answer to my prayer because of my new covenant with God through the blood of Jesus. You say, I'm a witness that this is real. I have a covenant with God. Many of us do not walk in the new covenant, and, and they don't, you don't walk by faith. And I, I know because I know that was me. When I began to say, these are my covenant rights. I have a covenant with God. You know, the covenant that he made 
you know, in the Old Testament and with Abraham and Noah, there's even a covenant. These are very, very special things. He told Noah, I will never drown the world again in water, and a rainbow is a symbol of this covenant. So God watches over his word to perform it. And if he says something, it's impossible for him to lie. And so when he grants us the remission of sin through the blood of Jesus, who are you to say, well, I don't feel forgiven? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. But you know what? I do believe that I'm forgiven, and my feelings catch up to my faith. And I want you to believe. I want you to forgive yourself. Some of you feel that you have just, you know, committed the worst things in the world, and your life is ruined because of it. Forgive yourself. Let God forgive you. Take this new covenant as like a written legal testament like the last will and testament. That, 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 and it says the testator has to die for it to go into effect for you to get the money that you're, that you're given, the benefit from that will. The, the guy has to die for you to be in the will. Well, this is the last testament. You are in the will. <laughs> These are all your, I love it. I love, okay, people say I take it to an extreme. No, I'm just, I know my Bible. Read it, read it, read it, read Hebrews, read about the covenant, and then don't let anybody steal those blessings from you and, and, and lie to you that, you know, you have to do such and such, and, because really that's returning to the flesh, and that is not pleasing to God. He does not want you to forsake your faith and, and lose your confidence in the blood of Jesus. Oh, boy, I just love preaching about the blood. <laughs> I feel like it's stirring me up. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, instill within each listener the strength that is available through their covenant right with God through the blood of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, speak it. Write it on their heart. Write it on the tablet of their heart through the finger of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that they will know they have a covenant with God. He said he would write their law on their heart that they don't have to be taught of man. They know it. In Jesus' name I pray. Oh, boy. This is, this is meat for some of you, but go back, listen again, look up your Bible. Write me if you have a question. frankjulian5 at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. And I thank you again for listening. It is such a privilege and a joy in this new phase in my life. And I'm really honored that you're listening. And God bless you. And have a wonderful week. Tell a friend about the program. We'll see you next week. Bye for now. On behalf of Frank Julian Ministries, we want to say thank you so much for listening. We upload podcasts every Thursday on Roku, YouTube, and audio podcasts. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you need prayers or are seeking a prayer community, we're here for you. Come join us on our Facebook page, Love, Prayers, and Healing Podcasts with Pastor Frank. See you next week. <laughs>